Hello. Today I'm going to be playing this indie game called Endless Sky. It's a pretty sweet uh, space game. So I'm starting a new file just to show you the beginnings, the basics. Um, but I already have a file that's really far and I'll, I'll probably play that a little bit too. So it, it, I did a few things like name my character and such, but now it wants me to start off with a ship. Uh, each ship, each of these ships have different qualities. And there's kind of like three themes of ships for different missions and stuff. Uh, you got the shuttle that's meant to, to transport people quickly. So there's missions where you need to transport people. Here's a barge to transport uh, equipment or and do shipment kind of missions. And then the sparrow, which is kind of like a fighter. I don't know which ship to start off with. So, I'll show you like all the things different kind you can do. I'll start off with a, with a barge. Just do those kind of missions. Uh, because I've become basically like a pirateer, essentially. It seems like the best way to get money. If it, after trying everything, after you do all these little missions, you get only a little bit of money, and when you start getting larger ships, you spend a lot of money. I think it starts you out with debt too. Let's just do a star barge. Enter your name for your star barge. I'll do Ulysses. If that's how you spell it. I don't care. That's how I'm spelling it. Sweet. Oh, I have a shape. Okay. So you get, to, you get a, a mortgage. From buying your ship and has interest so you want to pay that off quickly so it's 480,000 credits I wonder if I have weapons on this ship so this is the space game oh man my, my vehicle's so slow so it's pretty cool because there's a lot of different equipment and a lot of things going on but yet it's still 2d and yet it's still manageable so you have a lot of different things um, well you can't see my cursor but so in the top right, uh, you have the day. So every time you do a jump, it progresses a day. You have shields, and on the right you have, have your jump fuel and your energy. Oh, I don't have any weapons. Oh, shoot. Huh. Um, and then also heat. So I'm going to land again. And you can land on the planets. In each system, there's like a planet or two or like a starport. And then when you go to those starports or, or planets, you get this screen, and you can do trading where you can buy um, commodities at different prices, um, and then try to go to different systems and sell them for a better price. Um, there's the job board, which shows you some jobs that you can do. So these are different systems, and each system you need to do a, like a space jump to get to them. Basically, uh, basically this this area I'm in right now, I could travel forever and I would never get to the other system. I have to do a jump in order to get to the other system. The bank where you pay your stuff. It tells you, Spaceport is a way you can like talk to people or like observe things. Um, shipyard where you buy new ships. Each, each different place has different ships. Um, outfitters where all your equipment is. So do I have... I can't even put anyone... I don't have any gun ports, I don't think. Yeah. Um, so you can get all different kinds of things, different weapons, different projectiles that you have to reload, shield generators, your hyperdrive, um, different batteries to manage your energy, which, which all have different weight and size, so you have to accommodate them, different thrusters. Now this is definitely something I need to do is the maps. If you buy a map, you can see a lot of local places. And that's kind of how you explore, is you go to different planets and you buy their map. I have a sweet range. Uh, there's a job here that I can get to. I think I'm going to accept that. Okay, so was it bring three passengers to this system. Okay. Um, there's also the higher crew if you need to get... Usually you just need extra crew to... Uh, do I have everybody here? Okay. Um, if you want to like jump, uh, commandeer other ships. So, 
You don't have to worry about fuel or money if you stay in the same system, but once you start jumping systems, um, uh, the, the time will go by ahead of day, each jump. And also, you'll have to pay all your crew members, and anything you have to pay, like, interest through doing that jump. So it's kind of like a turn. Um, right now, this is un there's no habited planets here, it's just... And so, essentially, you would think it's more dangerous, it's more likely t for something to go on here. Um, so we'll go to Alioth. What's cool is if you hit jump, it just adjust the ship automatically adjusts itself to make the jump. Okay, we're gonna land on the planet so then we can deliver our cargo or our passengers. Oh god, there's a bunch of pirates coming in right now, but Okay. You wish your passenger the best of luck in New Tibet and collect your payment of sixty five hundred credits. Sweet. Okay, see if there's more jobs locally. No. This place doesn't have a shipyard or outfitter, so you couldn't buy a map or anything. Oh god, what the There's a big old ship right there. Not a big one, but... So right now I'm in Federation space. All these blue ones are... What will tell you? They have Republic, Republic. And so they have, like, a big fleet that's usually, like, everywhere protecting people. But as you go to different areas, different places have, um, different governments. And so, uh... So I'm barely explored anywhere since the beginning. But I guess I'll go to my file now, since... I'll just have to do... In order to progress, I have to slowly do missions. Uh, and so I'll show you how, how I do that. So we'll go to Joe John. So, this is my fleet. I've had a lot more ships, but I find it's better to have big ships. So these are two heavy warships, which take, they're like 10, like this one guy is like 18 million credits. So I had to play a long time to get these things. And this one seems smaller, but it's actually pretty fucking awesome. And I, I upgraded the engines, these really rare, far distant engines. I just got, I have a really sweet setup right now. Um, so this is what I've explored. So all these are different systems, which is pretty cool. So you have like the Republic in the middle. What's down here? In the bottom left, you have the Free Worlds, which is where I, I found out I have to go to. I was stuck for a long time, so I just ended up looking up like, how do I do my next thing? Um, and it said you just have to go around these free worlds to talk to people. Um, what's cool is like things change. Like over time, it seems like these pirate colonies will conquer some places and stuff. So there's these pirate colonies in the corners, different different uh, factions. Um, right here is this is this, there's this big portal here that takes you to this other area that where these aliens live at, and they that's where I bought all the sweet atomic engines and stuff. And so I was like, oh, I have to go over here. There's, there's a place I haven't gone to. And um, I heard that you need a hyper, you need a warp drive to get there. And I've seen these warping guys with these other aliens down here. They, they're able to warp in and out. Um, apparently, if I go to the free world, I'll be able to do stuff. So I have a lot of missions probably right now of just like bounty hunting missions. I'll have to land on a planet to see that. Um, so these are my weapons. I have some plasma and other stuff. And then the other one's controlled by AI. So I have like extra crew on board, so if I need to board other ships. So how I get money, I don't do any missions other than bounty hunting missions. And uh, I find other pirate ships, and I take them down to really low health until they're disabled, and then I, and then I board their ship and steal their ship and then sell their ship. Because you can get, the cheapest ship you can sell for is like half a million, which is like a lot. You have to do tons of missions just to get that much. So it's just way more efficient to get get other ships. But the tough thing to get a ship, the hardest thing, is that if any other allies are nearby, the allies going to... They don't let sh pirate ships survive at all. So they'll just destroy them to, to nothingness. Oh, I don't know why I think it's it wanted to land. So that's, that's always so annoying. So if, if I'm ever trying to get a uh, commandeer a pirate ship... Uh, I have to make sure there's no other AIs, AI, friendly AIs around because they'll destroy the ship and I won't be able to steal it. Um, oh, I'm in the, I'm in this area. I'm in the alien area. So I need to go here to go to the warp place. So we'll do a couple jumps. Sit back and let it do it automatically, which is pretty fun. 
I really wish in this game though that you could just dr you could just keep flying and eventually get to the other place. But I think they want to pretend that it's like a lot of space. So every every time I'm doing this these these jumps, I'm paying right now. I'm paying like f <laughs> seventeen thousand, one hundred seventy one thousand. I probably am paying some death payments. Anytime like a crew member dies, you have to pay like your, their family or something like that. Oh no, not jump. Did I jump? Fuck. Okay, I'm actually gonna land so I can refuel my hypergiant. Looks like I have six jumps that I can do. Okay, when I have an outfitter, I can look at my equipment. So this is everything on this ship. Oh, and stuff I can buy, which is not very much. Although they do have at some atomic stuff. This is the high. So far, of everything I've seen, this is the the highest quality stuff. Uh, some of the human worlds, you could see some of these, like the lower end ones, but to get any of the higher engine ones, you have to go deeper in. A reactor to generate energy, a battery to store energy. Uh, I have this interesting shield regenerator, also a really high sh um, shield. Uh, cooling system. I have these really interesting alien turrets that are pretty cool. Um, you can also have rifles to help you, that aids Basically, it's like a turn-based when you when you try to come into your ship. Um, and grenades, which are you can have illegal equipment, and if you go to uh, regular human worlds, the ships will scan you. And if you have um, illegal equipment, they're going to do something to you. I've never I never had it before. And to prevent them from being able to see, you can buy these reflector things that prevent you from being scanned, I guess. But I never bothered to, because the only legal equipment is for hand-to-hand -hand comment, and I and I always have enough crew that I always don't have a problem with that, so it's not really worth traveling around being afraid to get scanned. There we go. Warped over here. Um, I have to go through a few uninhabited worlds in order to get to uh, where I need to go. So I need to go all the way down here, so it's kind of far. So we'll go here so I can refuel. And maybe, if I see a pirate ship, I'll, uh, I'll try to commandeer it on the way there. I'll barely, I think I'll barely make it with all my jumps. What's cool is if you leave a ship, ship um, in a different system, they'll stay in that system and you'll have to go back to like save them or sometimes even if they're in a friendly system a friend- oh there's pirates I can see on my radar oh god these are big guys um I don't think I'm gonna bot- holy crap I just need to like pause for a second they're a little bit heavy so I could probably take them but maybe not very well you know, I'm, I'm on stream, or I'm, I'm recording this, I might as well try. Alright. Whoa! Yeah, they're, they're pretty heavy. This is like a medium. This one's firing me, it's like a heavy warship. Oh god, my shields are going down really low. I have really short range weapons. This guy has missiles over here. Oh, uh, my... F oh, my... My guy's in the fray, and I'm way over here. I might lose my secondary ship. Oh god. I'm not helping him at all. His shields are low. Oh, um, I have no energy. Why? Sometimes these ships have like attacks that reduce my energy. If we get them low, and oh, I have an, a random ally that has a hauler ship. Okay, my my friend, my ally, my uh. Oh man, there's more pirates coming in. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Retreat! Oh no! Oh god! Okay, I can see the health of my other ship. It's on the bottom left. He's super low hull health. So, luckily, the the fighting stops if I change systems. He's He must be disabled. So I have to go back there. Um, oh, I have no more jumps. It automatically saves whenever you land on a system. I don't have any fuel, so if I land, it's going to save again. And there's really no point if one of my really expensive ships 
is in super critical health. My, I just, I'm just loading a... Fuck, all the way over here. Well, either way, you got kind of an idea of what the game is kind of like. I want to show you boarding, so I'm going to try to... Try to fight uh, a pirate battle that I can win. <laughs> you should, I mean, I have really sweet... This is pretty sweet equipment. In the beginning, it was so hard to ever... I, I knew it was, it was efficient to sell ships, but it's so hard, not only because allies always kill the pirate ships, but also your weaponry is so minimal in the beginning, you only have this tiny ship. So if you can, um, oh no, not jump, why do we keep doing that? Fuck. Well, I don't care about having enough jumps, so I'm just gonna go. Cause I spent money anyways. To, each time you jump, you're spending, you're paying your salaries and everything. And I have, I have a pretty good amount of money right now, so I don't have to worry about that. But sometimes I have like a fleet of ships. If I commandeer uh, a pirate ship, I sometimes hang out into it for a while if it's big enough, and it'll help me kill other pirates. But if it's like a small ship. It's more likely to get to die and then totally be lost, which sucks. So I don't really. That's why I only really have heavier ships. Otherwise, I'd have a fleet. There's really no point of that. It's harder to manage. Th this guy, I'm, my partner or whatever, my AA partner is. He's kind of like a heavy. He's, he he can hold a lot of cargo and hold a lot of like weapons and stuff. This ship is kind of more an agile one that I'm in right now. Let's see if any pirates come by. We don't have enough jumps to get to a, a close system. We'll get, we can get really close, but not all the way. Yeah. If I go another one, I'll be stranded. Um, if there's, if you ever see a friendly ship, they can, they can give you some, uh, one hyperdrive fuel jump. And so they can help you if, if you, there's just a wayward ship going around. It's kind of entertaining, so I'm just gonna, that, to run out of fuel, so I'm just gonna go, jump, this do this last jump. No, don't hold position. I think my partner AI has more jumps than me. So in theory, he could give me a jump. Um, I think I talk, ask for help. So he can give me a jump. See, this space isn't ideal to fight pirates. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> isn't ideal to fight pirates because... Uh, Yes, I got another jump, and he still has jumps. So we'll just go here. We're supposed to be a bounty over here anyways. So there might be just a really tough pirate. See, I already spent like half a million just traveling. Wait, I'm gonna land again. You know, spend more money. I just need to see. I must have some death payments. Oh, oh, there's somebody. There's. Okay, this is just a regular pirate. He should be easy enough. But there's. See, there's allies here, so I won't be able to take him over. Unless. He gets far enough, because it looks like he's missiles, so he's he's keeping some distance. But we're super fast, so I don't think he can stay away. I mean, I'm super fast. Holy crap, he's super far. I'm just eating these missiles. This is kind of like a hopeless fight. He's super fast. Okay, I can't I can't get him. I used to have anti-missile turrets, but I just replaced them with more weapons. But yeah, my energy systems, I just, 
my energy gets wrecked super fast. Oh wow, there's there's another pirate up here. I think my other ship is trying to fight the other one. As he's going south on the radar. Okay, this is a hopeless battle. It's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna go to this area. I just wanna show the boarding of a pirate and stealing a ship. It's, it's pretty much the funnest part of the game. I love it so much. I could just do that all day, pretty much. But it's how I get money, so I need to do it all the time anyway. And there's really no other as efficient way to get money. The highest ping- oh sweet, here we go! Oh nice, he's a little guy too. So hopefully we just don't overkill him, that's that's the problem with the little guys. The yes! And luckily my, my ally, he doesn't kill off the ship. He keeps a little health left so I can take him up. Oh no, but there's there's allies coming! Okay, they won't kill him, I'll be able to board him for the way. Okay, cool. So you can try to like, just steal cargo on the left. But that's never really worth it. You can just attack the ship. So I'll do attempt capture. And then it kind of has this like dice rolling sort of thing. So depending on how many guys you have. I always have extra guys and plenty of weapons to take this. And if it's a small ship like this, they won't have many guys. So it tells you your odds. Okay, I killed their three crew. And now... And now I have, I put a crew on there so they control the ship. So now I have this little guy. He's part of my fleet now. So usually right when I get a guy, I try to go to a shipyard, or at least first go to a planet so they can, since they're really damaged, they're easily, easily dead. This place doesn't have a shipyard, so I won't be able to sell him yet. I mean, sell him at that planet. But I'll at least be able to heal him up. This is a really small ship, so I could probably- I think I only smell the, sell these guys for one or two million. Okay, so now he's all healed, and I have a little fleet of three ships. Wow, this is so cute. So I'm gonna try to find a sh local shipyard. Looks like the closest one is this pirate shipyard, which is super dangerous. You in Instantly you just get attacked insanely. So we're gonna go to Beetlejuice. And uh, sell them. Okay, we're all in the same system. Damn, my money's going down quick. Let me check the bank. Yeah, I have some death benefits. I, oh, but I'm paying interest on it, so I wish I knew because I could just pay it all. Okay, but also I have a lot of crew right now. Oops. Let's see, like 56 people on this ship, 76 people on this one. So they each need to pay something. This guy only has two people. 56. It's, this can hold 245. It's insane. What if I can do anything about his energy? I keep buying these. I guess it's just the regeneration of the energy. So I need a better reactor. I'm actually gonna try to see. Well, first I'll sell this. I'll sell this guy. So let's see. The ship, the ship itself, empty, will sell for 670, and all its equipment will sell for 370. So total for 1 million. So we'll sell that. And he has a unique name. Okay. 1 million. Not bad. So and. I'm going to use, what's cool is that you, you can see where certain ships are sold. Oh, I have new ships that I can see now. This, this is not available before. Vanguard? 31 million for this. Holy shit. Um, these are all the different kind of ships that I have available to me. I have, I have visible to me. And the certain ones you can see certain places and it'll show on the map. I'm looking for a certain uh, uh, a reactor that'll give me more power than what I'm getting right now. So re power. 
I have I think I have the breeder reactor right now. Let's see the Armageddon core. It's much heavier, so I might have trouble fitting it. Um Let's see, it looks like you can Oh, it looks like nearby you can buy it right here. I'm just gonna check the stats of it. Looks like mass of 130. Okay, well, I'll just go there and see if I can install it. Because that'd be nice to be able to not run out of energy and just lose my weapon systems. I, I must have installed weapons that were too many that were. Ugh. I could I could put anti anti missile turrets and they probably would take less energy and those are to prevent missiles from firing on me but I just don't find that very useful missiles don't seem to do a lot of damage I mean granted people will fire from far away but it's not like really much of a threat okay so they have the Armageddon core They're quite, it's nine million for just which is a lot more expensive than like medium sized ship which is hilarious. It says even in the description, one of these generators costs more than an entire fleet of smaller ships. Um, okay. So yeah, it doesn't... Oh, it does take outfit space. So I have to look at the numbers here. I have no outfit space free. And then my current one takes 80 outfit space. So I need to somehow make 50 more outfit space some way. Um... And granted, my really sweet thrusters take a lot of outfit space. Pretty huge battery pack. So I can get a slightly smaller one. It would probably be okay. What does this take? 37? Just want to see if there's anything I could spare. 34? It's really tough. I don't think I can. I don't think there's anything I can wiggle out. If I like, if I downgraded my one of my thrusters a little bit, I probably could do it. But uh, I really optimized those. I did a lot of stuff to try to get the exact thrusters, and they're they're really far in order to get them. Hmm. No, I'm gonna. S Save it. Oops. Um. Um. And then, uh. Try to finagle things. I'm gonna sell these supercapacitators, which are just small batteries that are expensive, but they give you a lot of energy. So I'm going to reduce my maximum energy so I can regenerate my energy faster. So I sell that. Buy a smaller battery thing. So now, outfit space. I have 24 outfit space. Okay, that's great. Shield regenerator. Which is pretty sweet. But not that great. How much does this take? 37? Okay, that'll bring me to 61. Which now I should be able to fit the Armageddon core. So I'll sell my current reactor and get this one. Okay. I still have 11 outfit space, so I'll buy some of these supercapacitators to fill, so I can store up. Okay. I spent a lot of money, but it's not a big deal. Let's see how my weapons shoot now. Oh yeah, that is so much better. Oh, here's a pirate. Oh sweet, yes! And they're not land board! Okay. <gasps> Please! Oh, there's another pirate coming in. Okay, my other guy will take him. Sweet, sweet, sweet attack. Alright, I got it. But I'm gonna, like, stay in front of him so he doesn't, like, get shot. Oh shit, even more. I don't wanna lose this one! Oh god, no! Oh, he's firing on him. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just gonna land so I can regenerate. Oh, I think he's disabled. So I'll have to reboard him. Yes, he's still alive. Okay, I'm gonna reboard him so I can. Okay. Now we'll land. So I can regenerate his health. Sweet, sometimes I don't even have to exert effort, they just come upon me. And this guy's a pretty... He doesn't look big, but he's actually a medium-sized ship, I think? He'll sell for... Oh, never mind. He'll sell for 2.6 million, which is nice, because I just spent a lot of money. Cool. Sweet, I'm glad my ship is running so well now. But I don't have the shield regenerator anymore, so I lost that. Which I feel like is not a big deal. Yeah, my energy doesn't even... Oh, shit. Yes! No! An ally destroyed it. That's what I'm fucking talking about. I was about to get him, but this little dick had to kill him. God damn you. And now he'll, ki he'll try to kill that missile guy, but... Wow, these missiles are hurting me. Okay. Well, that's good enough for now. Hope you got a pretty good experience of this game. It's really fun if you do it yourself. There's a lot of exploration, and there's there's kind of like an abstract storyline. Like you, there's certain trigger events that like you progress forward more and, and access more things. And this is still like indie, and it's free right now. So I suggest checking it out. Endless Sky.